Boom. We on? We running? Right, I thought I would do a video outside for a change at the moment because the weather is absolutely beautiful. Spring may have finally sprung or maybe it's just Scotland pretending it has, but it's been just over a year since I last spoke about my Land Rover Defenders. And the last video I did on Land Rovers got the most views. We did over 30,000 views on that video so far, which was absolutely amazing. And I think it's about time we jumped into another one. So what are we going to talk about this week? Well, I know in my last video, I talked about how the market was changing in 2023. What was going on? Could you get yourself a bargain? What to look out for? And well, a couple of months after that, I bought this Defender that's behind me at the moment. Now, the thing is, 2023 was a super bad year for a lot of people. And I was certainly one of them. I was really, really struggling as we rolled into that new year, literally New Year's Eve. My electrical bill went from 23 pence a unit to 60. So that was a joyous experience. And what that meant was that there were a lot of people like myself who started considering selling their toys and the market started taking an absolute dive in terms of prices for these old classics. So after I made that video in, I think it was January or February 2023, I was, I came into a position in about June where I could buy another Land Rover. We just signed the contract for season two of the Traitors which I provide all the Land Rovers for. And at the time, I only owned two of the Land Rovers that were actually on the show. The rest I was subcontracting. And I found out about a local gentleman that wanted to sell his Land Rover, which is this one behind me. It's a 200 TDI. I believe it was a 19J originally, but at some point this car has had a lot of love. It's had a newly rebuilt engine, new interior, We'll go around the car, I'll show you everything. But I guess the point of this video is there are still absolute bargains out there. Only last week I was off the Defender 110 with 70,000 miles on it for 8,000 pounds. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't a show queen, but it was certainly worth at least what I would have paid for it. I just didn't want another car. Well, I did, I bought that Mini, didn't I? Um, but, Getting back to this, the previous owner wanted 18 and a half thousand pounds for it. And because the market is so, so soft at the moment, I put in a very, very cheeky offer of 12. And he came back, said, absolutely not. Called me back a month later and went, Josh, I'll take 15 for it. And we entered into a conversation and I ended up taking this away for 12 and a half thousand pounds, which is, four and a half, five and a half thousand pounds less than he wanted to sell it for. But that is where we are in the market in 2024. Drop me a comment if you think I'm wrong, but honestly, there are so many bargains coming up. Anyway, let me show you around this and tell me what you think. Now, if you ever rent this particular Land Rover off me up at Wandering Icons, the first thing you'll notice is that the inside of the doors is red and the rest of the vehicle is black. Now, the reason for that is when I purchased this, it had just had a brand new respray in this gorgeous, it's like a really deep, lustrous red. It's definitely a Land Rover color. Let me know if you know what it is. Um, but for the Traitors, we needed five black identical 110s. So off I went to Glasgow, met um, Gordy at 07. If you live in Scotland and you want to get a car wrapped, 07 is a hundred the percent the place to go a really really good company professional friendly give you loads of advice and we took the car up there and it was completely wrapped in black for the traitors now since then i could have taken the wrap off but we've just signed up for season three and it costs a lot of money to wrap these cars you're talking about two and a half thousand pounds to get a land rover wrapped bottom end. I think if I went back today, I'd be probably looking at a thousand pounds more than that. But she presents absolutely beautifully, especially since we took the horrible roof rack off, the light bar, a um, few other things that we changed on the front. But that is the reason why, if you watch the traitors, you'll notice one has slightly 
slightly red insides, which will be changing very, very soon. And the rest of it is black. So all the other Land Rovers we've got wandering icons are TD5s. And this was my first kind of foray into what I'd call definitely more of an old classic. And there's a couple of things you want to check when you go and pick them up. Um, the main one being making sure the auxiliary belt is tight because when I got this, the belt on this was like a rubber band. It was on the point of nearly coming off. And uh, apparently it's just, it's an issue with the 200s and you have to just stay on top and tighten it up. Other than that, what else can I tell you? This particular car, when I start it up, is a lot more smoky when we get going. It's great for keeping people off your tail. Um, I've got a feeling this has been tuned at some point in its life as well. The Garrett Turbo that is on there looks super, super new. But other than that, she's been pretty reliable. I had to change the thermostat at one point um, because the engine felt like it was overheating. Another thing with this particular car is it's a real amalgamation of different Defenders and probably other Land Rovers. The, the gearbox on this cruises really nicely on motorways and I think that the gearbox on this, no, it's an LT gearbox, I think, but something on it has definitely been upgraded to make it a better, bit of a better cruiser. Um, the interior does not feel like an old car. Come on, let's go and have a look. So, as well as that brand new paint job, it's had a completely new interior. And this thing has spent, I'm guessing thousands of pounds spent on it. The interior is full Exmoor trim, definitely not a basic level, it has the matching cubby box in the middle. Um, it's got a full brand new carpet set in here as well. The rear seats have got two full seats with headrests, which if you own a Defender 110, you'll know is definitely not standard with a slightly smaller middle seat. Um, luckily, Ian didn't go full hog and put in rear seats on this because I think they would have been flipped almost immediately. I, I prefer having a boot for the dogs. As well as that, he's gone and tinted. I don't even think these windows are tinted. I think they come, they, these are factory tinted windows that he's bought from yeah, they're all from Maasai. So the guy spent a lot of money on getting this car done up for me. You know, it's all the little things that you start noticing that make you realize just how much money this has had spent on it. The car's had a full paint job, but we've still got um, new bump corners on the back end. Come around the back of the car here. New metal rail on the back, full carpet set in the back as well. It's got plastic mat over the top of the brand new carpet set. Full black trim on the interior, full black roof. That's a thousand pounds just by itself. Um, crazy. Um, back door, that's, that's an added extra. Tinted glass on the rear, that's an added extra. So Let's do a little count on just some of the things this car has had done to it. Full LED lights all round. New side steps, a set of sawtooth alloys, set of five with brand new tires, a new grill and surrounds, a new snorkel, new number plates, a new steering wheel and a new rear step and tow bar mount. So if you are buying a Defender and whoever you're buying it off decides to start listing all of the things they've done to their car to justify its value, well, the truth is you're never ever gonna make your money put back on aftermarket components. If you buy yourself a basic Land Rover and you stick stuff on it, be prepared to maybe get back 50% of what you've put in on those upgrades. With this particular car, the previous owner went absolutely mad and just in the new door skins and wheels and tires and all the extra little things that I've shown you, there's gotta be over 10,000 pounds worth of stuff there, but the market just isn't paying out at the moment. So again, don't be scared to put in a cheeky offer on a vehicle that you see. Another thing that I've learned with buying old cars is you really need to be prepared to travel, not every bargain is going to turn up on your doorstep. With this particular car, however, it did, and there were a number of things that made 
the owner sell it so cheap and allow me to buy it so cheap. But I would say one of the biggest ones was its geographical location. I purchased this from a little village called Towered, which is at the end of a peninsula in Scotland. And that meant a lot of you guys would probably have written it off even to come for a viewing. And it just sat there for months and months and months. But if you're willing to put in the hours, make the phone calls, Zoom call people as well. Don't be afraid to use modern technology to, to have a look underneath the car or look around the car or chat to the owner. You know, as I said in the mini video previously, I've bought with my gut in the past. With the Defenders, probably not so much. These old Defenders tend to be owned by enthusiasts and because of that, they will have lived multiple lifetimes with multiple people and you just never know what's lurking in these old cars. So take a screwdriver and hammer, give that chassis an absolute smack and see how good it is. Check the bulkhead, go over the engine bay, take a voltmeter if you've got one, see how good the alternator is working. Any little thing that you can do to negotiate that price down in your favor is always gonna be a good thing. Now, before I wrap this video up, I want to point out that no Defender that you find of this age is ever going to be perfect unless you're paying absolutely stupid money for it. And I'll show you a couple of things that are wrong with this one. Firstly, there is bubbling here, 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 here. Oh, no, no, that's a rivet. But this was resprayed super recently, like within the last two years. And it also had the bottom of the doors replaced. So you're always gonna be chasing these issues. Um, the, the wrap is probably protecting that quite a lot at the moment. And that's another reason why I'm happy to keep it on. But as I say, I didn't wanna pretend this car was perfect when it certainly hasn't been. Another issue that I think I might have mentioned earlier is that we had problems with the thermostat. So I replaced the thermostat in this with a brand new one. And even after I'd done that, the, the reading internally on the cab was just bouncing all over the place and overheating. What I've actually done is just taken the thermostat out and it's running absolutely fine. But yeah, another issue that I've got with this Defender. Other than those little issues and having just changed the alternator, I'd say this car's given me very little hassle, to be honest. Um, when it was up on the show, really had no issues with it when we were filming Traitors. And even with it being an older 200 TDI, I've got absolutely no issues sticking this out for rent with a roof tent on it and getting it on the fleet for wandering icons. If you're considering buying a Land Rover, a classic, anywhere from, you know, a Puma, which I've never owned and I wouldn't really know what to tell you about that, but the TD5s are fantastic vehicles. Uh, again, I was offered one last week for £7,000, but it was right at the top of Scotland. It wasn't on an island and be very, very careful of island cars because generally they are going to be rusted to crap but the, the, the further you're prepared to travel, the cheaper deal, the, the better deal you're gonna get, basically. Um, I think that's about it for this video. I hope you've uh, liked this little tour of one of my new toys. I've got a few other vehicles that I haven't shown you for the last couple of years, so make sure you hit subscribe if you're liking the content, and um, yeah, I will catch you next time. Bye, guys.